Hey guys, today I'm gonna take a look at a new hamster cage. This cage is from Italy, so instead of butchering the name, I'll just insert it here. And the model I have is called a Kevin82. This cage can be found on multiple sites, um, including Amazon.com, which is where this one was found. A link to it will be in the description. This cage is a little pricey at around $125. And with tax and shipping, you're looking at closer to spending 150 But if you live in the U.S., you know how difficult or impossible it can be to find a big cage with the minimum requirements. So if you really don't like bin cages or aquariums, this could be a great option if you're able to spend the money. So now let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look at the cage and the accessories it comes with. So as you can see, this cage comes with a blue base, which is exceptionally deep, so if you're hamster really likes to burrow, it'd be great to add a lot of bedding. And then it has a black wire top. I'm not exactly sure what the spacing of these bars are, but these are very, very close bars, so even a dwarf or a robo would be absolutely fine in here. There's a clip on the front for the door, and it has a very large door that actually opens up this way so you can get in there and get your hamster out and the accessories. It also has a clip on each side to secure the base to the wire. While the measurements on the websites are a little bit larger, the actual floor space of this cage is about 31 inches by 19 inches, which is roughly 589 square inches. As I'm sure most of you know, the minimum for any hamster is 360, so this cage is way over the minimum you would need for any type of hamster. This cage does come with a variety of accessories, but I definitely wouldn't recommend purchasing it just because of the accessories, because they are a little bit cheap. The wheel it comes with is seen right here. Now this is a 6.5 inch wheel, which would be fine if you had a Robo or Dwarfs, but this wheel would not be suitable if you're going to use this cage for a Syrian, so you would still have to buy a separate wheel. It also comes with a little food dish that you can hook on the wire cage, but once again it's very made very very cheaply and I won't be using it. They also included a couple plastic handles to hook on top of the cage in case you wanted to move it, but these are very very cheap plastic and since the cage is so expensive, I wouldn't recommend picking it up by these just in case they were to break. Now taking a look inside the cage, you can see the other accessories it came with. It did come with this nice corner shelf which hooks in very very secure and some tubes to hook on, just so your hamster can have a little bit of tube fun in there. There's a little tube that runs over to this long shelf. This one isn't quite as secure with these little clips, but it is in there pretty decent, along with a little tube going down from here. It also came with a little house that clips onto the bar so your hamster can't move it around. Now the doorways in these are a little bit small, so it probably wouldn't be good for a full-size Syrian, but it's definitely great for any type of dwarfs or robos. So overall, I would have to definitely recommend this cage if you're looking for a store-bought cage and you are in the U.S. While it is going to run you almost $150, if you don't like bin cages or aquariums, it's one of your only great options in the U.S. instead of the very small critter trails and ovos that don't offer near enough floor space. Once again, the link to this on Amazon will be in the description, which is where this came from. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Make sure to thumbs up this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.